So today we will insert audio and video in an HTML page. So for that, body BG color equals to aqua. So to insert an audio, we will use audio tag audio src equals to name of the audio. So I have already saved one audio file in my system in my folder. So it means you have to first save the file and the audio in the same folder where you are creating your HTML document. So I have this audio file essay.mp3 essay dot mp3 next attribute is controls controls equals to yes control means uh, whenever you will insert an audio in your page controls means a pause button start button and rewind all these buttons will appear or not so that is control so we want the controls controls equals to yes next is autoplay Autoplay means whenever you will open your web page, your uh, audio or video will automatically start playing, irrespective of whether you have pressed on the play button or not. So, autoplay equals to no. Now, I'm going to close the body tag because I am not inserting anything else on my page. Close body, close HTML, save it. I'm going to save it with the in class 8 folder. With the name audio.html. Now let us check. So here is the page, right click, open with Google Chrome. So on this page audio is coming, buttons are coming, you can play it. In the same way, you can also insert the video. Autoplay equals to no. Right now I have written this autoplay equals to no because I don't want uh, the audio to play automatically as soon as I'll open the page. But if I'll make it yes, then also it will not work on my system because my browser version is not latest one. So if you will be having the latest version of browser, then only it will get played automatically. <music> Next is video tag. Now you have to do only one change that is audio will and these both the tags audio and video are empty tags so no need to close it also. Video SRC equals to name of the video. So I have this video in my folder html.mp4. Controls equals to yes, autoplay equals to no. So video will open in its full size right now. But if you want to change the size, you can also add the attribute height and width. Let us check like this only first. F5. So this is the full size of the video. Okay, good morning class. Today Okay, now uh, let us set the height and width. Height equals to 500. Width equals to 800. Save. Check. 
now the video is coming in the size whichever you have mentioned and all the controls are also coming but uh, suppose if I don't use this attribute controls save and check then the video will come but no controls are coming it means you cannot play this video so we have to use this set review this is compulsory controls equals to yes if and uh, this attribute you will use only if uh, your browser is not supporting this attribute autoplay like uh, in my system it is happening otherwise uh, sometimes your if your browser is supporting autoplay equals to yes then there is no use to uh, there is no need to use this attribute controls your uh, video will automatically start playing as soon as you will open the web page so here okay good morning class today okay now suppose i wanted to make a backlink on this page so a href equals to name of the page which you want to connect so i'm taking a random page a dot html back and close anchor tab now after the video i wanted to give some space so i am using the break tag then only i wanted to display this link save check okay so video tag is not an empty tag it's a container tag so you need to close it also so here we have closed the video tag and now we are able to see the backlink but i need to close it here before the break tag save and check now the back button is coming here you can press it and you can go back right now i have not connected any page there is no page saved with the name a.html so no page is coming otherwise you can connect the page to make the videos you can make a video as a link then the new page will open where you have inserted your video and you can go back to the first page then so this is how we can insert audio and video in html